Star Wars Celebration 2020 is canceled. Ewan McGregor talks about the Kenobi series, Star Wars Squadron's reaction from the panel, and more on this week's episode of Mando Talk. Let's get to it. What's up, all you Jawas and Ugnots out there? This is Mando Talk, Second. and I am Nolan Ferris. Alongside me today, I have a great panel of people here. Yeah, I'm gonna give it back to Caleb Keller. <laughs> okay, what's up, everybody? I'm good. It's good to be here. Well, first of all, second week in a row that you did not get that right. Ah, oh, well, you know, it's <laughs> apples and oranges is close enough. <laughs> oh well, it's okay. Jawas and it's Ugnots and Jawas. Ugnots and Jawas. Yep. <laughs> You would think I would know that being on here since day one. You, uh, yeah, you'd think. But anyway, we didn't come we up. Got, it's his own. It's his own take on it. Like that's his signature. I guess. That's yeah, true. I just say everything wrong. Last week <laughs> I said Jugnots and I was. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jacob Keller, what's up, man? He's in the building. What's up, Jacob? I'm How doing you doing? Good. Yeah, I'm good. That's great. Good to be here. How was your week? That's awesome. <laughs> It's pretty all right. I it's think you're pretty all right. <laughs> I think your hair Working gets out better. in the sun, you know. I'm yeah. burning up all day. Yeah. His hair changes every I think episode. your hair gets better every time we see it. I really do. Now it's like, so last week you got it cut a little bit. Yeah. Now this bit. week, this week it's like fluffy. Yeah. Got Speaking of hair. Golly. Come on now. Let's just get it out of the way. Okay. Everybody watching YouTube. If you're if you're not watching YouTube and you're listening to us on the podcast, go to our YouTube uh, yeah. channel. It's uh, Mando Talk, and uh-huh. check out this guy right here. Yeah, he uh, he did a little something this week. <laughs> Got baby faced on us. Okay, looks all I mean, fresh. Y'all want to hear the background to it? <laughs> yeah, I'm at home all day bored. <laughs> okay, <laughs> off for the summer. Yeah, and. Yeah. Uh, Okay, I looked up like Instagram photos of the last time I had a completely shaven face. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's been a minute. August, yeah, because you did the mustache for a while. August two thousand eighteen. Golly, wow. y'all's last <sighs> alumni game that was played in. No way. That was the last time I had a completely shaven face. Oh my gosh! And I'm already regretting it. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. So like I said, if you're listening to us on the podcast, that's great. Thank you for the support. But if you want to see Caleb Keller's <laughs> Baby face that I haven't seen since baby 2018. Keller. Baby Keller. Baby Keller. <laughs> hashtag Baby Keller. Not Baby Yoda. Hashtag Baby Keller. Yeah. Jedi Check Master us King. out. YouTube. Mando Talk. You can see it here. He yeah. Ru- he ruined the Jon Snow like you said. Yes. That's what I'm saying. He, he was, was going, going for it. like the Game of Thrones Jon Snow. And then I come in today and I was like, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> but Listen, hey, it'll come I like back. It. It, yeah, everything so grows back. Keep coming back to YouTube to see my weekly facial hair growth because yeah. I ain't touching it again. <laughs> we'll <laughs> see about that. I'll come in next week and he'll have like a buzz cut on his hair. He'll no, shave no, off the locks. Nothing else is changing. <laughs> Embrace the mullet, man. All right. We, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we haven't introduced BA yet, but you've heard his voice. BA. Brandon Anderson. Jeez. What's up? What's up, guys? Stuff. How we doing? We're great. Good. How are you? I'm doing well. How was your week? Eh. Work. <laughs> Any work, uh, work, 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 same, work. same. <laughs> Any yeah. transformations to your look? <laughs> no, not yet. Still, well, I mean, you're still, looking, still you're looking extra faced. smooth right now. Yeah, I'm always baby faced. I actually may have more facial hair than Keller. Than I don't I know. Do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> I've already got a shadow coming back. Yeah, you probably yeah, you can't do. see it on camera, but it. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it did reveal those dimples that you got there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, again, I anyway, forgot about all those. I'm ready for them to ready for it to grow back, but. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to, to come back. <laughs> all right. I'm glad that all four of us are here. Me and Jacob are going to hold down the fort when it comes to facial hair. It's been a while since we've oh, all Oh, just come. wait. I'll be back. I know you will, but you'll be <laughs> back in like two days. <laughs> Not two days. I two mean, weeks. It, it doesn't take that long. Two weeks. Let's get on to Star Wars news. Yeah. Okay. So we got <laughs> Star Wars news to talk about. We hinted on it at the top with the uh, intro. Um, and then after that, we're just going to break down the Disney gallery, the Mandalorian connections, the final episode of that behind the scenes to the Mandalorian. We'll talk about that briefly at the end, but right now let's go ahead and dig into Star Wars news. And the first thing is kind of a bummer. So let's just go ahead and get this out of the way. Star Wars celebration 2020 in Anaheim has been canceled. 
for this year for this next year. year now and then also <laughs> the next star wars celebration will occur in anaheim but in 2022 yeah so what's two up years, with that really two years from now now oh. i will say this in 2021 d23 happens which is disney's big expo okay so, so they don't want to step on any toes that's why i feel like they're skipping that year i feel like regardless if 2020 had happened they were skipping next year anyway right gotcha yeah. um but that's a bummer because i mean with star wars celebration there's always a bunch of things to talk about when that comes and obviously as a podcast uh, yeah network on star wars kind of thinks that that's not there to drop some stuff we for us. just talked about it in like one of the last episodes about how about what we expected to get from the celebration yeah and I was super excited about it, and it sucks that they canceled it. I understand why they're doing it. Right. It just, man, it just sucks. It's just a bummer. And, yeah. I mean, there's plenty to hit on. That c- I feel like Celebration 2020 could have had a lot of stuff announced. I mean, we could have had a Mandalorian Season 2 trailer. Mm-hmm. Mandalorian Season 2, yeah. <laughs> We could have had updates on future television. So we got Cassie Nandor, we've got Obi Wan Kenobi, and we've got Leslie Headland's show that was recently announced that we don't have any details on. Leslie Headland, uh, for those that don't know me, uh, what who is that? That was the. I'm not sure of her previous. Well, we talked about it when the news was broke. I'm not sure. 100% sure off the top of my head her previous that work. That was the female. That was like the female leads. focused. Yeah. Uh, TV show, but that was that wasn't 100 percent legit. Is he gonna step on Ahsoka Tano? I don't know. We'll see, and because, we'll actually I talk mean, about that a little bit later. Hopefully, I don't think you get any better than that. Yeah, and then we also could have gotten movie updates. So we got the 2022 film that's still on schedule for Star Wars. We got Taiki Watiti's film, and we also have Kevin Feige. I'm not sure if y'all know about that one. No, Kevin don't. Feige is the producer behind Marvel. He's the one that's created that entire Marvel Cinematic Universe. Really? He's got Star Wars films that he's been working on. See, I thought that was Favreau. No, no, no. He just directed uh, Iron Man. That was it. He just did the Iron Mans. Okay, so, yeah, I'm with you now. But, yeah, Kevin Feige's been... Kevin Feige's like the Kathleen Kennedy for Marvel. I got you. Yeah. She's a big boss. Yeah. So, all that stuff could have been hit on in Celebration 2020, and it's a bummer that it's not happening. Uh, but good thing about these things, a lot of it can be done digitally. I know the Mandalorian yeah. season two trailer is coming at some point, regardless mm-hmm. of celebration happening or not. Right. Yeah. And Hurry I can't up. Wait. I can't that. wait to see that. Hurry up with it. I, I mean, mean, we've I, got a few months. We only got three, three and a half months. Oh no. At way. this point Jeez. until October. <laughs> it can't so, get here soon enough. So honestly, yeah. a trailer could come at any time. In my opinion. Well, Disney, if you're listening. <laughs> we're ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do y'all want to see in a season two trailer? I want to see what I want to see. <laughs> that, that no, does that down. make sense? <laughs> that narrows it down. Yeah, does, that, does that make sense to y'all? I want to see fan service. Like, I want to see a little bit more of the dark saber because uh-huh. that's exactly what we ended on. Maybe, like, pick that up. Like, in the trailer, have it open up, and you see him cutting himself out of the TIE fighter again. Yeah. And then he steps out, and then you get a little bit more background of where that goes. And then you hear goes. the music, the Mandalorian music. Or maybe you see him in a uh-huh. fighting pose with it, like he's... Yeah, and you see, Oof. like, another lightsaber shoot up, but you don't know who it is. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're going to see teasers on where they're taking Baby Yoda. Maybe yeah. a glimpse of the planet, or maybe the people. I mean, Coruscant, baby, what Coruscant looks like now. Baby Yoda's going to be in the trailer, because that's going to be... Well, I'm not that's saying gonna that. be. Oh, no, no, I'm yeah. just agreeing with you. Because Baby Yoda, I mean, again, he's that <laughs> character that brings in non-Star Wars yeah. fans. So they're throwing him in the trailer. Yeah, for sure. It brings in my wife. <laughs> yeah, we'll get Din Djarin. I really want to see Din Djarin in action. You know what? You think we'll see Pedro, like, without his helmet? Like, in the trailer? Without his helmet on, in, in the trailer. Nah. You don't yeah. think they'll give us no nah, more of it? Nah. I think they gave us enough in season one to tie yeah. us over until yeah. the actual time it comes in season two. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they took his helmet off. But man, I know... Okay, I don't know why I just thought of this. And it's not going to be in a trailer. But I'm really hoping the end game of this show is for Din Djarin to get the Darksaber. Hmm. That'd be so cool. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> there's a lot to get to. Uh, a lot of things out there Star Wars has got going on. It's a bummer that Celebration 2020 got canceled. But hopefully we get some updates on all of those things that I just listed and mentioned 
soon, especially the season two trailer. Something that would be really cool, and they don't really have to put out a trailer for this. Just show us some like the the title, like last season. You know, we had the the cover page, and it had Gina on it. It had Pedro, like the poster. Yeah, I just yeah, like a poster. And yeah, kind of show us maybe one or two new characters that we don't know about that we can speculate about because that's what we do here. Um, is try to predict, and we're always wrong. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> again, I stand by. I feel like we were close on the money with the Mandalorian, but then once Clone Wars came around, we sucked it. Gosh, it was the worst because <laughs> I didn't know we were going to spend half the season talking about something that didn't matter at all. <laughs> Are you talking about the Martez sisters? Yes. Come on now. <laughs> like that had nothing to do with the final story. Anyway. Anyway, any other anyway, final thoughts? Anyway, no, no. The, any <laughs> any other final thoughts on twenty twenty celebration being canceled? Other than an, it's a bummer. Yeah, big bummer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next piece of news. Now, this is complete speculation. This is not confirmed by anybody, but I will say this: one of the big kind of YouTube channels for movie and entertainment is John Campia, and this was a huge topic. On his channel the other day, I believe it was like the thumbnail and the main topic on the actual description of the video. And there's a a rumor suggested that the 2022 Star Wars movie has been canceled. And I don't know if that had to do with COVID-19 or if it had to do with Lucasfilm still trying to figure out what to do with that film. But we still have no clue what that 2022 film is. So. I just wanted to bring that up because I just wanted to say I feel like we should probably pump the brakes as far as assuming that that's going to happen because we know nothing about it. I don't think we're at the point to where we can say that that thing is canceled. And I'll use this as an opportunity. What do y'all think the 2022 Star Wars movie is going to be about? Because we have no clue. They haven't given us anything. And I know a big thing a lot of people are hoping for is the... High Republic. Yeah. Which would be really interesting. But also, don't forget, a while ago we got that his name was J.D. Dillard was directing a movie on Exegol. Y'all mm-hmm. remember that report we talked about? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Haven't heard anything about that either. Um, so a bunch of things are out there. I'll tell you something that I think is pretty cool, and I heard it on a show uh, about a week, week or two ago. I think it was a week ago. Yeah. Uh, it was a movie pitch. It was called... The Great Purge. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you guys heard about that. Maybe. We might have heard about it. But it was like, it was so awesome. And the guy that was telling us about it, it was so cool. Like he's like the coolest guy I've ever heard. Yeah. Um, but it was about the Mandalore, like the Purge of Mandalore. The Great oh, yeah. Purge. I think guy. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah that guy was a total was that on, stud. What show was that on? I don't know, man. I, can't uh, I think you. it's I think it's Mando Talk. Was it Mando Talk? Yeah. If you haven't heard of Mando Talk, go give him a listen. Yeah. And I think it was last week's episode, wasn't it? Maybe. That's correct, yeah. Yeah. There so we go. BA. You guys go check that out. <laughs> All right, B.A. Shameless plug. Is you, can get, there... you can get off your high horse now. <laughs> B.A., is there like a topic or thing that you want to see the 2022 film do? Because I know, I feel like Bless us three I've kind of heard from about it. But Bless what do you think, I. maybe? I Bless think High Republic I. would be good. Just yeah. Just sort of refresh, because I'm a fan of the, the prequels, so... Going back before Agreed. then, before all the Skywalkers and stuff. Yeah, like, and maybe may cool to see just the, yeah, how things yeah. were before. Get away from the Skywalkers. A, and the I was scene. about to say that's yeah. a big thing that Nolan's on is get away from those guys because you can't win with them. Yeah, I mean, really, it's hard to do that character justice, and that's my whole thing. If you know, you guys have heard it before. Just get away from them. Yep. you can't you can't please everybody with them. 100%. It could be a solo too. Ooh. I don't think so. It won't be, but I mean, I would watch it. I would love. That. Yeah, I would watch it too. I would love that. You would watch any movie that came out, Keller. I, I can't. Well, yeah. I can't keep saying that stuff. <laughs> Anything labeled Star Wars. Yeah, I'm in. I'm interested. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You said you watched like the 100%. YouTube for kids. Yeah, the Jedi Temple doing. Challenge. Yeah, you even gave Jedi it a shot, Master so. Kelleran. I oh. mean, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> now you get off your high horse. Now we're all on level playing. <laughs> He's doing it again. Okay. Mm. Next bit of news. This is pretty interesting. We got finally, well, I mean, it's not much details about the Kenobi series, but at least 
things are going for it. I got it. a couple of good details out of that. Okay. Well, let me read it, and then I want to hear from you. Yeah. So, Ewan McGregor was speaking with Ace Universe, and I'm just going to go ahead and read this quote. It's pretty lengthy, but I want to give B.A. and Jacob a chance to hear it and to maybe dissect some things of what he says. So, he says, I think I am going to enjoy it all the much more, and he's talking about shooting the TV show over the prequels. I don't know if you've seen any of the behind the scenes of the Mandalorian series, which if you're watching Disney Gallery, you have. Yes. But they employ that incredible screen. So what he's talking about is yeah, that the filming oh, room, the room where it's got the digital portrayal of the locations. Yeah, like the whole wall is him. like the atmosphere that it's you're like in. A, it's like a wallpaper almost yeah. that they just throw up there digitally. Yeah, so you're actually you like so the actors actually feel it's like it's not a green screen. The, it's not a green screen. Mm. Huh. No, it's like TVs. Okay, cool. Or projectors and then, or I've never something. Seen like that. That. Yeah, and then he continues. I don't even begin to know how it works, but it's pretty amazing. So when you are on set, if you're in a snowscape or something, when you look around, you see that, and it makes you feel like you're in the place. I think it's going to feel realer for the actors, and I think we'll be using some of that technology on our show. All right, Nolan. Hmm. What were some of your yeah. takeaways from Ewan McGregor speaking about the Kenobi series? Going over it. Okay. <laughs> I'll say this. First of all, I think it's a good sign that he's gonna he's more excited about shooting it yeah. over the prequels. Right. Secondly, if they're using the technology that they used in The Mandalorian, they're in great hands. Yes. Third, yeah. we know that the person in charge deborah chow is used to that technology because she worked on mm -hmm. the mandalorian and knows how to direct around it right and it's nice to know that ewan mcgregor knows details of how the show is going to be shot because mm -hmm. that means they've that actually been working yeah. on the show right, there's details <laughs> out there yeah <laughs> all right nolan one thing that i picked up on was the last word it was it said show so so that confirms to me that it's going to actually be a show that's a good point i didn't even think about that um so that confirms that for me number 2 i don't think he would have said snowscape if he wasn't already thinking about that like he had already done a snowscape scene i was kind of thinking mm. that so now, that was a clue to me maybe yeah. maybe not at least he's seen it on script not necessarily yes. shot it but he's yeah. read it so that for me was like it triggered me to, like, where could he in the galaxy that we know of go with a snowscape? I mean, Hoth comes to mind. That's the only one that I can think of. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's others. Yeah. Well, well, uh, Starkiller Base, Right. Yeah. it was a planet before being named Starkiller Base, but I can't think of what that planet was called before right. then. Uh, but, yeah, that's an interesting point. Two interesting points, actually. And I don't know, I didn't, I didn't actually click on the article, but I saw an article today that confirms the timeline for that, like when it, have you did you, did you see that? I haven't. But Maybe what did we'll they have say? To, I can't. Oh, you can't remember. Well, I'm I'm assuming it's a good ten years after Revenge of the Sith. Maybe. Yeah. Five I, to I ten. I would figure that. Yeah. All right. So, any additional thoughts from you guys, Jacob B A, about that quote that Ewan McGregor? I mean, any any burning things y'all just want to say about the Kenobi show? I just I know, I know I know it's a PR too for them to be like happy about it, but I feel like yeah. that, that quote about him saying that he's more excited than he is for shooting the prequels. I feel like he's going to be more into it, and the environment around him with that screen is going to make him feel like he's there. So I feel like he's going to be bringing his yeah. A game. So. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. think about the for technology sure. that's changed within the last twenty what twenty two years, mm -hmm. e or even just the technology that's changed from when he shot Revenge of the Sith. Mm -hmm. Which right. was, that was twenty two was it we went over two thousand five was Revenge of the yeah, Sith two thousand fifteen fifteen years yeah golly <laughs> we, I feel like it was just yesterday when I was watching that movie I know in theater. in theaters yeah that's so. crazy but yeah that's a good point yeah I mean it's like I said it, not that he didn't bring his A game in the prequels oh, yeah. but I feel like it's gonna be on another level and I mean let's be real prequels were a lot of green screen so actors are having to right. imagine they a imagine lot of things, things. <laughs> and they don't know yeah. what it's gonna look like you know these actors they know what Star Wars looked like but they knew what Star Wars looked like from you know the 70s yeah. so I mean they don't know what the technology is when they're doing this right. but with this they can see it, mm -hmm. and they can. I feel like, I feel like it, if I was the actor, mm -hmm. I would be immersed in it 
oh, way yeah. more. Mm-hmm. And I, that would make me in tone with my character a lot more. Yeah. And so I hope we see that through the show, like yeah. through the screen to us. Yeah, for sure. I hope we see that more comfortability that he has yeah. as Obi-Wan. Do you think he's going to be taking the high ground any? <laughs> <laughs> he better. Yeah. We better get Probably. A, a small little funny yeah. reference to that. <laughs> uh, yeah, just a sm- like a funny reference. It yeah. doesn't have to be Jacob, serious. any thoughts? Uh, I don't think he well, thinks it's funny, though. Like Obi-Wan. <laughs> he lost his brother. Think about how hard it would be to act out like you're fighting General Grievous, but it's just a guy wearing a black <laughs> suit with those balls on it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and he's like flailing green sticks around with, yeah. with like limbs <laughs> hanging off. Hello you're, there. Yeah. Hello there. <laughs> General Kenobi. That's a, that's a good been, point. You've been working on it. It's yeah, better yeah. than the last time. Yeah, yeah he has. <laughs> well, you know. He's got it down. Nolan looking in the mirror. I got to get this right. <laughs> yeah. I got a show coming up, Brian. Yeah, I got to do this. <laughs> I would kind of compare it to the, like, kind of bouncing off what Nolan said. I mean, if I ever get the opportunity to go to Galaxy's Edge uh, at Disneyland, you best believe I'm, I'm going to be acting like a Star Wars character when I'm in there. Because yeah, I'll, gonna... I'll be fully immersed. Be walking around like a... put like on a, a costume Oh, everything? I'll be dressed up. Oh, I, won't be, yeah. I won't be wearing American clothes yeah. or the cultural clothes going on right now. I'll be wearing, Shorts like, and some t-shirt. tights and stuff. <laughs> I'll be walking around like an You Ewok. go into it uh, dressed like a Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> God, dude. <laughs> Woo <Hoo> wee. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to be dressed like uh, Han? Heck yeah. yeah. That's what you're going to be you dressed like. Either, like. Yeah, that'd be cool. Hey, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I see Kylo Ren. Hey, kid. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, God. Speaking of... You you mentioned earlier it's Father's uh, Day is coming up. Oh yeah, Father's Day. So shout out to all the dads. Shout out to Star all the Star Wars, Wars fathers. Yeah. yeah, we were trying to think of Darth the good Vader. ones. Yeah, the good fathers out there. I mean, Anakin and Han. Would you consider Han a good father? <laughs> yes, we talked about it earlier. You would? yes, it's debatable. I would. Yeah, uh, I would because he tried. He tried with his son. He tried multiple times, and that's why uh, you know, Leia, you know, was like, "Bring back my boy." Yeah, you know, whatever. And she was like, "It's not our fault." Yeah, because they've Smoke. tried. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Which was Palpatine. <laughs> who is the worst? Hey, father? Palpatine's another dad. Palpatine. Oh. Palpatine. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I was gonna say. Happy, I want my son killed. <laughs> happy not a Father's Day to Palpatine. Yeah, yeah you're the Godly. worst. You suck, <laughs> Uncle Uncle Owen. Yeah, he's a good one. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah. Uncle Owen. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine having to deal with that? <laughs> That'd be pretty rough. <laughs> yeah, I get this nephew just dumped on me from outer space. Yeah, yeah. His dad's the worst person in the galaxy. His mom's dead because he choked her. Jeez. He, come, All right. he comes around, though. <laughs> She's lost the will to live. He does come around. He redeems Who? himself. Darth Vader. Darth Vader. He helps his oh, kid out. Pff, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's like yeah. dad's coming back after the he kids made, are successful. He made like an NBA player. Oh, hey, son. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He may have missed some child support payments, but he was back there. He was at the yeah. end. <laughs> like, come on, guys. You can't just ditch the kid until he becomes something of a big deal. Oh, he, my kid's a Jedi now. He's awesome. He saw that green lightsaber, and he was just like, all right. I'm, he was like, I'm full supportive. Not the cash in. <laughs> son, dad. <laughs> all right, guys. Let us know what oh, you yeah, think. Oh, yeah, I remember okay, when right, he turned yeah. on Luke's lightsaber, he was like, most impressive. <laughs> yeah. And that's when he knew he was going to turn <laughs> he, back. <laughs> he was like, okay, I like this kid again. Yeah. <laughs> he used right. to hate you and want to destroy you. Let us know what you think about Ewan McGregor's <laughs> thoughts when he was speaking with Ace Universe. Let us know what you think about the Kenobi series and let us know about the Star Wars dads. Fathers. And Din Djarin, he's a clan of two now. Hey. Of yeah, the Mudhorns. Golly. He's a dad now Boom. too. Yeah, that's a good yeah. one. I'm sure we could think of you others. You see him as a dad? Mm-hmm. I see him as a fun uncle. What about you? Okay. <laughs> Me and BA were saying it. Yoda, he's got all those Padawans. Uh, those yeah. Padawans have no parents now. They're just fully immersed in the Jedi way. Yeah. They leave their parents. Yeah. Yoda's their dad. Well, <laughs> except all the Padawans. Your father are I am. <laughs> <laughs> except, what what did you say, Jacob? All the Padawans are dead. Kind of dead now. Well, yeah. He, he didn't do a good job <laughs> of looking Downer, at dude. Because of my boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. 
We're now going to talk about the recent video game. Star Wars <laughs> Squadrons. Yes. The teaser was released on Monday. So let's only talk about that teaser first. So only like the two-minute video uh, where we get some... We didn't really get any gameplay in that teaser. We just got kind of some... It's a build-up. S- sick visuals. Yeah. Cool music. Yeah. Big takeaways, though, inside that teaser. We got Harris and Dula, and we got Wedge and Wedge Tilly, Tilly, which was super cool. Yeah. Thoughts on just the trailer, the teaser trailer in general? The music's going to be great. As the always. music was as impressive, always. yeah. yeah. Um, That's just the basic for all Star Wars trailers at this point. Right. <laughs> One of my big takeaways that we get from the trailer, uh, the teaser trailer, is the time period. So we know that oh, yeah. it's going to be it's a good what, point. Right after Return of the Jedi. Probably. It's because it says the New Republic. Right. And that mm-hmm. is, you know, right yeah. after they beat I would the kind of expect it to well, if I was producing it, I would do this. I would connect it to Iden Versio's campaign in Battlefront Two. Cause she's doing stuff in the New Republic fleet after Return of the Jedi. So it'd be cool to see like a crossover there where we get a crossover right, the between games, the yeah. campaign of Battlefront 2 with the campaign of Star Wars Squad. Yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. I, I kind of doubt they do it, but I mean, like e, well, like not. BA always says, EA. So, <laughs> Well, yeah. understandable, and I, I know where you're coming from there. What would be really cool to see is the tie, like we know where it starts. Yeah. Um, but we don't know where it ends. And it would be cool to start seeing the build up because, you know, you're going to get to be the Empire pilots too, the TIE fighter pilots. Right. Yeah. It'd be cool to kind of see some of the First Order start to seep its way yeah. in. And everything. That'd be nice. That'd be really neat. Any other thoughts just on the teaser? On the teaser alone? Just the two minute clip. Like, again, it's it's kind of just there for the visuals. It was very but, cinematic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Well, the graphics look good. Um, you know, with the lasers and everything. Right. Looked really cool. Now, I will say this. I tweeted out directly after that teaser was dropped on yeah. Monday. I just wanted to see, like, what our followers thought about the teaser. And I simply asked, are you sold already or do you need to see more? And fifty per- 56% of the people said sold already. Mm. 44% okay. said need to see more. So that was kind of close. Oh, um... um. Well, I guess we'll get into this when we talk about the gameplay right. trailer. And so now that we did that poll, those 44% of those people that said they needed to see more, I'm interested to see maybe what they think about Star Wars Squadrons now that we got the full gameplay trailer on Thursday mm-hmm. during EA Play. And there were some big takeaways. I'll just go ahead and list those before I kind of open it up to everybody else. Uh, there's going to be a single-player campaign where you go back and forward between New Republic and Imperial scenarios or characters. And then we got the two multiplayer modes. We got dogfight mode, and I don't remember what the 5v5 five 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 mode was called. It's like fleet mode. Fleet mode. It's dogfight yeah. mode. Well, dogfight's the... 1v1? One uh, one. Yeah. I got you. I don't remember. I think it is fleet think, mode, I though. So, yeah. It's like the 5v5 five five where it's bigger. Is that not bigger. a squadron mode? <clears throat> no, it's fleet, I think. Fleet. And then another big takeaway for me that got me really excited was the customization of the ships. And you've mm-hmm. got eight total ships to choose from. Yep. All right, Jacob, you were going to say something about the gameplay. What was it that was on your mind? First, it looks pretty awesome. Yeah. For VR, that's, like, really oh good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. If the VR awesome. looks like that when you're in gameplay then that's going to like open the gates for more VR games right to start coming out I think yeah cuz VR is still pretty new and you know we've only started to see VR games that actually look any good like there was this zombie game VR mm. and that looked really good too but if this looks that good in gameplay in VR yeah it's just going to keep taking off yeah uh, another thing is in one of the game modes where you've got the Star Destroyer mm-hmm. and the two capital ships, mm-hmm. two sides facing each other, and you're having to destroy the two capital ships and destroy um, the big ship. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like parts of the big ship, right. though. Right, right, right. Yeah, that supply, reminded me a lot center. of space mode on Star Wars Battlefront to the old version. The original. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got those vibes, too. Uh huh. Now, I know me and you grew up playing Jedi Starfighter. Did you get any Starfighter vibes from that? Or did you feel um, like it was just like completely advanced? I didn't really get any vibes. Yeah. Like that. I got more like, you know, old Star Wars Battlefront 2 vibes, okay. though. Okay. Just from that kind of team mo- team mode and destroying those ships. Right. And the parts of the capital ship. Yeah. Definitely reminded me of Battlefront 2. Yeah. Now, I will say this. Of course, like, BA keeps dogging me for. It says Star Wars. I'm going to get it. <laughs> I'm not dogging you for it. Okay. Second thing. Yeah, you are. <laughs> no, I mean, Second thing. You would agree, right? I, w- I would agree. Yeah. <laughs> it's only $40. Yeah. That's a steal, in my opinion. I mean, all the video yeah. games now are usually fifty nine ninety nine. Yeah. yeah. And so. that's just the base package. And, you know, if you get the deluxe version, you know, it goes up to... Probably. Go yeah. up to 100 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Um, which I'll just which probably you probably base. would. And the reason why I'm get saying I'm probably... One. <laughs> nah. The reason why I'm saying I'm probably just going to get the base is because I've always been pretty bad at the aerial stuff with yeah. Battlefront yeah. and everything that's come before. Yeah. So, it's tough Man, for that... me. Maybe the gameplay will be smoother because it's designed for yeah. space VR. battle. Or yeah. yeah, it's got some VR yeah. in it too, but it's designed for you to be good at the space stuff. I just feel like with Battlefront, obviously their main focus is on the ground. Right. Uh, so maybe it'll be smoother. Maybe someone like me will be decent at it. And I know, B.A., you were telling me that you're usually not into these type of games as well, but what are kind of your general it's, thoughts I on I mean, it? like you were saying, with like games in general, like flying levels have never been like my specialty. Yeah. And partly because I'm not really that good at them, but... In the trailer, this did look a whole lot more smooth. Yeah. So, I don't know. Now, granted, there's a pro probably playing behind it. The designer of the game is probably back there. (laughs) I I know, too, the multiplayer mode is going to be awful. There's going to be 12 and 13-year-olds that are going to (laughs) just... Okay, so good at this game. (laughs) Right. But it does... What is it? Up to five... Players five five, can yeah. no five can play on a team. So oh, that'll right, be fun. right, right. Yeah. I mean, there's games out now like Warzone <laughs> Squad and stuff. Right yeah. here. I'll say so. this too, though. While you while you mentioned that, you know the room where you talk before the mission starts. Mm-hmm. If you get in there with random people, there's no way you're gonna get your voice in. I mean, come on now. <laughs> you gotta be. You gotta be a good leader, man. <laughs> That's just gonna be like crazy. It's just talking, yeah. like you said, twelve year olds. Yeah. <laughs> But it'll be interesting. So, yeah, I think it'll be. I think it'll be very fun if you yeah. have it. And if you're one of those people, people that in like the uh, the chat room or the lobby are listening to music really really loud <laughs> for all of us, the rest of us to hear, quit, <laughs> grow up, turn it off. Nobody wants to all hear right, your man. music. Jeez. But hey, maybe at the time though. If, if <laughs> what if it's Cody Jinx though? Then hit me up. <laughs> DM me. Hey, that means it would be canon. In a Cody that Jinx would be canon. Cool. <laughs> I will say this lastly, at least for me, until maybe y'all say something that makes me think of something else. I think it's really cool how all the icons that you need to see are actually part of the dashboard yeah, for yeah, yeah, yeah. the piloting. Because yeah. usually when you're playing at least old Battlefronts, like the things you would need to know as far as like overheating and everything else yeah, would kind of like be corners, on the side. Yeah. But everything's kind of like the actual cam yeah. for the pilot. Thought that's really cool. Yeah, it'll be in- it'll be probably difficult at first to start reading that. And I'm sure they'll go over tutorials for you to get it, but that's really cool for me. I wonder though if yeah, it'll look have, like, differently. <laughs> I wonder though if that dashboard will look differently for console gamers than for VR because if you're in VR, mm. you got that much wider right. Yeah, yeah, and then you can also look around and it becomes yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't think it'll be much different because of um, because it looks so good when you put everything on the on in the actual game, and you yeah. don't have like a compass down here in the corner and your life meter up here and your ammo down here, like like it'll be f- that looks choppy, right in your face, right everything. Yeah, Do you- I want to see it actually like have to look okay. Like yeah. there's my joysticks looking down. Okay, I'm going this way. 
Yeah. Do, you, do you think it'll all be in the cockpit, or do you think there'll be a view that you can kind of... Like I know a third person? Yeah, mm. I know in some games it's easier to drive and maneuver if you're mm. sort of... I kind of... I think it would be an option. I hope it's an option. See, I kind of hope some it's, people it's like, not. See, Only because if, I just want it to be a game where you're fully immersed into if it. If everyone's on the same well, level, though, then it kind of evens that. So that yeah. would be okay. So some people get motion sickness, though, from first-person games. That's true. <laughs> and so I think if it, if it was an option... Yeah. Like, it'll be really good. It might because be. Call of Duty doesn't do that. Yeah. Like, it's all first person. But Battlefield, it, you know, right. is first. You can do both. Battlefront, too. Yeah. Um, it might be one of those things where they first come out with a game where it's fully, you're in the cockpit and that's it. And then maybe they come out with an update once everyone's kind of been fully immersed yeah. to it. And they're like, all right, here's an option for you to. And that would be cool. Yeah. That would be cool. All right, guys. Those of you listening out there, those of you on YouTube, let us know what you think of Star Wars Squadrons. The teaser, the gameplay, all the different modes. Let us know what you think. Are you excited for it? Or are you still kind of like, eh, probably won't get it? Let us know. Because I know Jedi Fallen Order is the greatest EA game, Star Wars at least, and Nolan still hasn't played it. So let's see if he'll, I don't even know if he'll get Squadrons, honestly. <laughs> I will. It's forty bucks. <laughs> True, <laughs> Jacob. Did you? Like have they something still else haven't to say? come off the price of. Fallen oh, they Order. have. Oh, have they? Yeah, I think it's forty bucks now. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, Jacob. What were you gonna say? Uh, also, there's an option in one playing mode where you play against bots, and those bots, it said, were AI, and that's really interesting to me because you know AI works by you know um, incrementally learning from itself yeah so i wonder if the more people play this game and the more this ai knows how to play the game mm -hmm. the bots will actually become more intelligent yeah and, and harder yeah harder to play against right so i think that's pretty cool that's Come where on. i kind of start losing like not interest but losing wiseness on the subject I don't know how all that works. Yeah. Like, I thought it I'll was... I'll tell you, I lose interest when I'm not good. Like, you know, because they come out with seasons and stuff. And, like, right now, I'm like everybody. I'm playing Call of Duty, you know, Warzone. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, it's it's cool when you're at the beginning of the season because they kind of reset everybody to the same level. Uh -huh. Right. And, uh, yeah, you still have the people that are obviously really good. But, golly... You get to the end of the season and everybody's got the upgrades and everything, and I don't play yeah. as much as a lot of people do. And I'm just sitting here like, man, I can't even, I can't even like land. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know I'm if it'll be killed before I land. <laughs> I don't know if this game will be like that, and I'm kind of hoping it's not. Yeah, kind of hoping it's more. Yeah, open. Well, I mean, if they're if they're gonna have an online version, you you are gonna have your players oh, yeah. that are just no uh, doubt devoted. I mean, that's to just it. yeah. <laughs> And that's why I you're can't. gonna start off flying and then <laughs> you're done. Yeah. That's why you I know? can't get <laughs> into you back to the multiplayer games. I just can't do it. Yeah, I get too frustrated. Yeah, and so I quit. Like you <laughs> wait, in, you wait in the lobby for five minutes and then you play for thirty seconds and then you get sent back to the lobby. It's like, good lord, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what that's what makes me mad is because it takes so long to get into a game. So maybe they'll fix that. Yeah, if you're listening, EA. <laughs> fix that absolutely they're, they're not <laughs> I've been talking to EA and I've been talking to Disney Lucasfilm all Duke, of them Luke, Lucasfilm <laughs> the Duke who are you talking to who's the Duke the Queen I mean yeah golly, whoever you know. will listen <laughs> yeah alright again let us know what you think of that game and we are now ready for our last piece of news now when I say news eh it's just one of those speculation things. So this is LRM Online. Now, these are the people that reported that Hayden Christensen was back in Lucasfilm and in, er, involved mm. with something. So mm. I don't know how legit <laughs> this site is, yeah. but a lot of people are taking this and kind of running with it. And what they are reporting is that Lucasfilm plans on creating a universe where all the Disney Plus shows will be connected with a central storyline starting in mid-2021 by releasing new Star Wars television content each quarter. Their inspiration being Game of Thrones, all overseen by Dave Filoni. Now, yes. the shows that they're saying 
are going to do this, the Mandalorian, so probably by then we'll be in season three. They're saying yeah. an Ahsoka Tano series, a Boba Fett series, hmm. a Ezra slash Thrawn series, and an unknown character centered show. So, a what lot. does the last one mean? Unknown character centered like show? Like a, a character that we don't know yet. That we don't know yet. That'll get a, a, their own show. Okay. Like I thought all they the were ones... talking about, like, you're never going to know this character, but no, it's no, going to no, be no. a show about no, no, no. it. Like all those ones <laughs> that we just listed were characters we've already seen and known right. and been introduced to. That last one is just a character that hasn't been created. It'll yet. be Broom gotcha. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> It'll be Nat Geo Star Wars. Yeah. Okay, so here are my thoughts on that. I'm not. Um, a... I would love for it to happen. Yeah, I would love for it to happen. I'm not 100% sold on an entire Ahsoka Tano show. She's had her arc. We, well, we've got her why? in Clone Wars. We've got her in Rebels. We're fits in the I'm just in waiting to see on how they treat her in Mandalorian to see if she gets her own show. So I'm kind of hesitant on that. Maybe Baby Yoda gets handed off to her, and that's what the show is going to be about is his Jedi training, the child's Jedi I guess. Training. I could see that. But then here's my kind of... I don't know. It's kind of weird. I don't get this whole inspiration being Game of Thrones when Game, Game of, Thrones of Thrones is one it's show. It's just one show. Like, that makes no sense to me. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's talking about how there's multiple plots. Plots. Yeah. Because I know on. with Game of Thrones, I mean, Jon Snow and Daenerys are the main characters, but sometimes yeah. there'll be episodes where you don't see those people at all. Yeah. Maybe that's what they mean, but it's not all in one location like Game of Thrones. That's why I'm kind of like, eh, is this really legit? I don't think that makes any sense, to be honest. After you said that, none of this makes sense. Like, the whole post <laughs> doesn't. <laughs> I agree. The idea of it is But a lot is of people great. are running with it, so I wanted to address it. Because it gives us content every quarter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so the does. idea of it's great. <laughs> that would be but. awesome. <laughs> yeah. It but. sounds good. Yeah. But, you know, if it sounds good to be... too sounds too good to be true. Yeah. It sounds like <laughs> one of those things where the Mandalorian's like the centerpiece... And then once they introduce Ahsoka, oh, well, here's her branch off yeah. for her own show. Here's her three-episode TV show. Once they introduce Boba Fett, here's his branch off for his own show. Same thing with Ezra, same thing with Thrawn, and whoever that unknown character is, maybe Cobb Vanth. Ah, who knows? I don't know. It'd be cool to have. It would. But we'll see. We shall see. And I kind of doubt it because with what we've been given so far, I don't think Lucasfilm thinks that far in advance, but oh well. <laughs> but oh hey, well. I just don't think they've got this one figured out yet. <laughs> Dave Filoni overseeing it. That's I'm all for news. that. That's yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm all for Dave Filoni. If you're watching Disney Gallery, you'll know that Dave Filoni is legit. Oh, yeah. hey, did you know that Dave Filoni directed Avatar, The Last yeah. Airbender? I think I told you that. Yeah, because the you know the arrow that's on his forehead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mando has it on his hand, and that's like a connection to represent those two. Mm-hmm. You know the blue arrow yeah. that yeah, that's cool. I used to watch the cartoon. Is that the one we're talking like, about? Or are we talking about the yeah. live action movie? Avatar. No, not the, the movie. The last. Not I was saying because the, the movie was a failure. So yeah. <laughs> when you said that, I was like, pump the brakes. Let's back up. Avatar. No, the we're last talking about the the uh, animated. Show. Okay. Yeah. Which Are you talking awesome. about the blue people? No, no. They came. <laughs> they came out with uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender. Yeah, and it's oh, did they? And it was, pff, it tanked. It okay. Was, but didn't they used to play the not? I said the cartoon, the animation like show. They, on, they yeah, it used there to be on Nickelodeon. Ever. It's on uh, yeah. Netflix now. Mm-hmm. I'm actually, I used to I'm watch actually watching it again. Yeah, yeah a lot it. of people are watching that again because it's been put on Netflix recently, hasn't it? Yeah. And an avatar is somebody that can use all the forces, right? All the elements. All yeah. the elements, yeah. You're mixing Star Wars, but yeah, all the elements. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, like, you've got water benders, air and benders, bald, and, and earth benders. Arrow. Arrow on his head, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to watch it. you got mm-hmm. water, air, and earth benders. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. What's the force when you got it? Firebenders, good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And then you, you know, the Avatar can do all of them, right? Yeah. But he's being trained how to mm-hmm. use all of yeah. them, right? He was because he p- has to remember how to use all of them. Because he got put in ice, and he was there for a while, and then woke back Spoilers. up. Spoilers. 
Got that's, you. The, that's the first episode. Oh, got I, you. I never watched the show. Really? You should watch I it. Used to wa- you yeah, need I used to watch, to watch it. it. So, it's pretty cool. I've been told I need yeah. to watch it. So I started watching it again uh, a couple weekends ago. Yeah. It's awesome. I it is re- like really hardcore anime, though. Like the. No, it's not like. It's not like. It's a not like Naruto. Super Naruto. No, it's, it's not Naruto. like that. <laughs> It's like a more. Sorry, I messed that it's, up. It's American anime, yeah. so yeah. the styles are very different. You know. Well, see, it's Avatar like Rebels. So a little bit in yeah. yeah, in Disney Gallery, Avatar is how Dave Filoni got the job with George Lucas. Like George yeah. just called him in, and he was like, "You've been doing Avatar, all right, all right, you're in. <laughs> You've got the job." <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I remember so watching that. It impressed first. George Lucas yeah. enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, I guess let us know what you think about Avatar The Last Airbender. <laughs> yeah, I might give that a watch again. That's <laughs> Yeah, I need to check I, it out. I've been hearing people talk about it, but I thought it was like Honest, a, another show or you something. You kind of think about Dave Filoni and like his little tidbits that he throws in there with all his shows. I guarantee you there's more than just that blue arrow that's in on his forehead that he throws yeah. in there that he sprinkles in his other yeah. animated stuff for Star and he Wars. Wants, he wants people to mm. figure I it out guarantee for themselves. I guarantee you there's something else in there. <laughs> 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 all right. So that is it for the news. Let us know what you think about all those things. And we are now real quickly to wrap up the show. We're going to quickly discuss the last episode of Disney Gallery, The Mandalorian, titled Connections. And I will say this, I've watched every single one of them, and this final one is by far the best one. It's got all the feels. Uh, it really brings it home. It really hits home why this show means so much and how Star Wars is back with this show. And the first thing to point out, and I know Nolan talked about it in our, going way back whenever yeah. we started this podcast, the ice cream maker and it talks about how the like, safe, like the vault. The, yeah, the vault yeah. that held the best car still. It talks about like the background to that, and I don't remember this character's name. Uh, but in Empire Strikes Back, when people are escaping Bes- uh, Bespin, Cloud mm-hmm. City, yeah, this guy runs by with this ice cream maker in his arm in an orange jumpsuit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they use for the best car still in season one of the Mandalorian mm-hmm. and no way. I believe and they give that <laughs> ice cream maker purpose yeah and I believe in app in Empire it's actually that legit ice cream maker mm-hmm. now obviously in the Mandalorian they updated it and they made it a lot more Star Warsy. yeah open up and smoky yeah <laughs> but that was cool and I they it also showed people cosplay as that dude yeah. in Star Wars Celebration. Carry around an ice cream. Yeah. And they like bring him out on stage That's and they start awesome. like chanting and yelling and stuff and people go crazy for him. <laughs> I can't believe I, I can't remember the character's name. It's Ice Cream they, Maker Man in season two <laughs> of The Mandalorian. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> but they uh He's they just made running an, down the streets yeah. of They made an action figure for the dude. I believe it's a special and it's huh. probably like a hundred bucks at this point. But yeah. <laughs> all That's right, second cool. big takeaway so IG-88, the original IG unit uh, from Empire Strikes Back, he was built with leftover cantina props from A New Hope. And I didn't I know that. I can see it. Now, I can see it. Can, and Dave Filoni, <laughs> do his <laughs> life. <laughs> he was kind of, he was nerding out and he was talking about how uh, all these Star Wars fans went crazy. They saw this IG unit in Empire and they are like, oh, that thing's so awesome. And he was talking about how he, it wasn't awesome at all because it was screwed down into the floor to make sure that it, it didn't move whenever it was on set. <laughs> yeah. They just wanted something cool behind Boba Fett. And yeah. it's really interesting how now IG-11 has blown up and he was one yeah. of our favorite characters in season one. He's he over doing, here laughing like, yeah, it's made out of garbage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you guys love it. <laughs> yeah. And there was all kinds of crazy movements that IG-11 did. But the original IG unit was screwed to the floor. I thought that was pretty <laughs> funny. All right, third big takeaway. Again, it just goes deep into the connections with the aliens, the droids, and the props. Uh, the f- My favorite prop that they got into was the pulse rifle uh, and how it connects back to the holiday special. Uh, I don't know if... Have y'all seen the holiday special? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. None of you have seen the holiday special? The 70s one? Yeah. When all of the actors and actresses were high as a kite <laughs> shooting it. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> they were 100%. Really? Like <laughs> that's verified? 
I don't care if it's verified or not. You can tell. <laughs> um, but it's like this animated portion. This is the first time you see Boba Fett. It's like a cartoon. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And he pulls out this gun. And it was funny. George Lucas was on the set. And John Favreau was like, do you recognize that gun? Uh, and he's like, yeah, it's from the holiday special. And uh, Favreau was like, yeah, that's canon, isn't it? And George is like, oh, no, it's not. <laughs> because he's completely ashamed by it, and he wants it completely removed, and that's why no one, y'all haven't seen it, because yeah. you can't find it anywhere. Really? I thought that was funny. Huh. Does, does it explain the R2 unit with legs that we see on the ground? Oh, oh no, it didn't. Okay. But, man, you, you brought I up completely droids forgot and I was about like, that. That was the weirdest one of the Yeah, it also so talks far. about blurgs. Uh, I can't think. I don't remember the specific more droids that they went into other than IG-11. Uh, I need to watch it again, I guess. All right. Fourth so, thing. R2 with legs? You don't remember? You don't remember? Yeah. At the he, very end of the show? The, he was the gondola. Uh, like legs oh, yeah, popped yeah, yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. In the lava. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Fourth big takeaway. The bartender in Chapter 5 on Tatooine in the cantina. You remember how you walk in? Droids used to not be allowed. Mm-hmm. Well, the person that was voicing that droid was none other than Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker. I thought that was really cool. No way. And then finally, my last big takeaway was the 501st showed up to play the Stormtroopers in the final episode. So all those big, that big group of Stormtroopers. Yeah. And it was really, well, I kind of already knew that. I believe we actually yeah. already talked about that. But the big takeaway from that was they had no clue what they were getting into whenever they got the call to come out there. Because usually Lucasfilm calls them up to do charity events or conventions. Well, they call them up and they show up on set and they had no clue that they were fixing to be in The Mandalorian. So that was really cool. Those are my big takeaways from the final episode of Connections. Or sorry, final episode of Disney Gallery titled Connections. And it was good. It was interesting to see. Um, honestly, I'm, I was really surprised. They didn't talk about Baby Yoda at all in this final episode. They didn't really dig into the behind the scenes stuff like how the show was created, so I was kind of bummed about that. But anyway. Anyway. I guess you anyway. can't have them all. You can't have them all. All yeah, right, he's one of those Star Wars fans you can't please. <laughs> that's not true. That's <laughs> that's BA. Yeah, yeah <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I like the prequels, but um not all of them. Just one. Really, half of it. <laughs> the prequel? Yeah. Yeah. I like the prequels. You like all of them? All of them. Phantom? Yeah. yeah. Attack? Mm -hmm. You hate Attack of the Clones? No. You said it's the worst one of the prequels. No, I didn't. Well, I mean, well, it, I mean Attack of the Clones is the worst it is, one of the it prequels. It is the <laughs> slowest one of the prequels. I think you're thinking about the sequels. <laughs> he doesn't like the sequels. <laughs> he's, he's, <laughs> I, like, the I hate all of them. Well, Force, you the like Force, the Force Awakens. Force Awakens is great. and then Great. And then it drops off. <laughs> Come on, man. I well, think the whole way, to, or does it pick back up? It redeems a little bit. I think Rise you need to watch Rise of Skywalker again. I think you need to watch The Last Jedi again. I know we mentioned, I don't know if we mentioned this on air because it's been a few weeks too, but I tried to watch The Last Jedi again. Couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I made it like 30 and minutes. No, it was on It was on uh, May 4th. I tried to watch it. Okay. Didn't you, Nolan, didn't you recently watch Last Jedi? Yeah, they've been having them on TV, so I've just been watching. Did you Whatever. make it all the way through? <laughs> the whole yeah. runtime? Uh well I like turned yep. it on in half of the show but I finished it oh, out okay yeah couldn't do it I know they're all on Disney Plus and everything, yeah it makes no sense that you're watching it on TV I mean but, but when <laughs> you see them on TV it's like oh yes yeah, Star Wars so <laughs> yeah you know I turn it on and like my wife's like oh my gosh you're watching this again and then she ends up like watching it with me so yeah. it's, it's funny <laughs> all right. It's good that is it bonding story. for the show yeah. on this week's episode of Mando Talk. We had Jacob Keller in the house. Thank you for being here again. Looking fresh as always. Again, he's yeah, got the no. fluffy hair this week. Got the <laughs> curls for the girls. <laughs> B.A., well, Brandon Anderson, thanks for being here. Even though you hate having. The Last Jedi. And you hate I, like two thirds of the Star Wars geez. movies. I thought we were <laughs> roasting him. I thought we were going to make it through a whole episode without you bringing up my Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. Wait a second. Where's this little... uh? character you got 
explain. I mean, what's the deal with Jar-Jar? this? Jar Jar. Yeah, why? Why'd you put know. this on the table? I pick out a random character. Yeah. About him every week. All right. What are but your you thoughts on Jar Jar Binks? I think he's pretty cool. I did th- <laughs> I think he's pretty cool. <laughs> so okay, before the uh, this is a funny story. Before the you last, you think he's pretty cool, but you don't like any the whole episode. The, the okay, so the whole episode, every time I try to talk, Nolan just interrupts me. So we'll just table our conversation. For next time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair. Whatever. I'll say this: I like Jar Jar. Mm-hmm. You're a liar. I like no, Jar Jar. I like Jar Jar. Do I love him? No. I like him. He's okay. Oh, Master Killer! <laughs> <laughs> Master Killer and yeah, what Jedi Master Killer and. <clears throat> All right, Nolan. Um, thanks for being here. Uh, thanks for roasting on Jar Jar. Um, <laughs> I hope you have a good week. I hope everyone listening has a good week. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there listening. Yeah, Happy Father's Day. Be a good father to your. Uh, uh, offspring, offspring like Han Solo, your like we. I guess Padawans. we agreed that Don't Han be a Solo. Palpatine. I guess Han Solo is the best father in Star Wars. Mm. Maybe, I guess it's debatable. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> you let us know who you think the best father in Star Wars. Yeah, is. let us know. Thank you for listening. Check us out: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at Mando Talk. Uh, check out our website: MandoTalk.weebly.com. Uh, if you're not watching on youtube if you're listening to our podcast check out our youtube channel uh it's really just a video version of the podcast where you get to see our awesome faces and like nolan said at the top my baby face right now but anyway it'll come back come to the youtube channel to see my subscribe progression (laughs) like subscribe to the channel hit the bell for notifications Mm -hmm. and when we upload new videos Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. That wraps us up, Mm -hmm. so we have spoken. We have spoken.